last week of December 2016. One of the biggest galactic and cosmic events in history may be taking place on Earth at this time. There are enormous waves of energy being recorded by our science instruments, such as the equipment used for morphed integrated microwave imagery at CIMSS. The immense power and energy to generate this type of wave is tremendous, as seen in these graphic images for December. Something strange is happening, so much so that many alternative media journalists, as well as modern religious prophets, alternative scientists, bloggers, whistleblowers, and the awakened community are actively reporting on this incredible phenomenon which is now taking place during the 2016 winter solstice time frame. Although some of you have used a distinctive language to describe your thoughts about me and the accuracy of my presentations, there is something that I want all of you to know, especially those who remain skeptical and defiant. The role of a journalist is to report the truth based on available, verifiable evidence of unfolding events and developments on this planet. And yes, this is a planet, not a flat plane with a fake dome hovering overhead, as a number of you have emphatically suggested. Here is the real deal. As a reporter of what is now drawing intense internet speculation via a number of emerging YouTube videos, Apparently based on measurable geophysical data, there are a number of significant events which just occurred that provide a window into what is taking place at this time. Therefore, I will present the following information to you and it will be up to you to decide if these events are coincidental or may actually be related to the wave of energy speculation that is now inundating the internet world. As both an observer and a reporter, I am compelled to at least provide information that could prove to be prophetically accurate based on both past and present fact-based patterns. So let's take a glimpse into the past that may give us a better understanding of what is happening now. Several popular internet bloggers who tend to specialize in geo-astrophysical data have been warning that some form of galactic energy would bombard the Earth towards the end of December of 2016. They maintain that enormous electromagnetic cosmic pulse waves have been striking the Earth showing up on mimic IPW microwave imagery as a strange anomaly, if nothing else. The largest burst ever recorded, 100 times stronger than any other known, came from the Magnetar SGR 1806-20's potent magnetic field decay on December 27, 2004, and is strongly linked to the December 26, 9.1 magnitude West Sumatra earthquake in Indonesia that resulted in a tsunami, killing over a quarter million people in the Western Pacific and Indian Ocean and it became the world's fourth deadliest natural disaster in over 100 years. Despite its diminutive uh, size in diameter, SGR 1806-20 is the most highly magnetic object ever discovered. The late December 2004 light was invisible to human eyes, falling in the gamma ray energy range and far more energetic than visible light or x-rays. The HGR 1806-20 explosion that occurred 50,000 light years away from the Earth finally reached our planet on December 27th of 2004 after its stargate eruption occurred tens of thousands of years ago, becoming the brightest observed event known to be sighted on Earth from an origin outside our solar system. The lit-up ionosphere that lies at the outermost rung of the Earth's upper atmosphere was actually partially ionized by the pulse's magnetic radiation. Our magnetosphere, which is the protective layer extending 370,000 miles above the Earth's surface, was damaged by the intense galactic magnetic radiation. 
That magnetar blast observed a dozen years ago incredibly released more energy in just over one-tenth of a second than our own sun has emitted in the last 150,000 years. That's how amazingly powerful these magnetars can be, seemingly unfathomable to the limited human mind. Since nothing comparable to this event ever occurred that was so closely monitored, recorded, and analyzed, it took two months after the fact for NASA to finally issue its official explanation on its website in February 2005 of what the scientific community around the globe believed took place. NASA concludes, such a close and powerful eruption raises the question of whether an even larger influx of gamma rays disturbing the atmosphere was responsible for one of the mass extinctions known to have occurred on Earth hundreds of millions of years ago. The Earth's magnetic field was seriously damaged by severe solar storms or solar flares in June of 2015 when, during a two-hour period, our magnetic field shrunk from 11 times the Earth's radius to just four. Last month, it was noted that a gigantic crack in the Earth's magnetic shield allowed the harmful cosmic rays to pour into our atmosphere, stirring up geomagnetic storms in the northern hemisphere. Scientists have determined that the magnetic field is weakening a full 5% every 10 years, instead of the usual 5% every 100 years. This indicates the flipping of the poles is likely occurring much faster than the normal cycle previously expected. Concern grows that we're due for another pole shift. These disturbing trends are explained by the cumulative damage already sustained by the 2004 blast that destroyed a portion of our protective magnetic shield, reducing the Earth's resistance to further destruction by both solar and galactic flares that strike the planet's atmosphere and crust. Internally heating up and destabilizing the Earth's iron core and molten metal mantle that in turn increased surface activity of both volcanoes and earthquakes, of which we've observed a huge spike in recent years. Magnetic fluctuations both internally and externally are directly connected to the Earth's tectonic plate movement. The solar and galactic flares that are wreaking havoc on our magnetosphere play a major factor causing the significant rise in major earthquakes and active volcanoes that are now soaring on our planet. Major changes being recorded on Earth are also being observed on other planetary surfaces and atmospheres within our solar system, and they have nothing to do with the human-caused CO2 level. That's an unsustainable theory by the globalists aggressively pushing toward a new world order. The actual heating of the planet and accompanying volcanic and earthquake activity are largely due to loss of our protective layer, the magnetosphere, having taken some near-fatal blows from dangerous solar and galactic radiation flares, as well as solar winds, and is in the process of rapidly collapsing. As you are probably aware, in October, President Obama signed an executive order to fund as well as warn the public of the coming danger of a disastrous space weather event almost as if he already knew one was fast approaching. Yet another malevolent factor increasing our risk perpetrated by the elite is the highly harmful toxicity resulting from widespread aerosol geoengineering over the last 20 years, covertly raining heavy metals into our atmosphere, into our soil, water, food chain, our lungs, and wiping out trees and animal species alike. These poisonous metals like aluminum barium and strontium are electrical conductors that also ionize both our lower atmosphere and the ionosphere. Advanced military climate modifications technology has warmed the Arctic among other regions. 
HARP technology is nothing more than ionosphere heaters. This weather technology, in turn, destroys the ozone layer and permits harmful ultraviolet radiation, as well as gamma and X-ray radiation, to flood our biosphere. It's all a viciously destructive circle that serves no healthy or positive benefits to life on planet Earth. And it's also being speculated that thickening chemtrails are purposely concealing sightings of the mysterious Planet X system. So now you have a better understanding of the alarming developments that in recent years have provided an empirical pattern of discernible effects and results that may well pretend the events that are predicted in our immediate future. And this brings us to what is now taking place. On December 17th, the planet's largest earthquake of the year struck at 7.9 on the scale hitting a South Pacific island east of New Guinea, which surpassed the December 8th 7.8 quake that erupted near the Solomon Islands. That same day, the strongest U.S. quake, 6.5, rattled the northern California coast. 104 people died in Indonesia the day before when another 6.8 earthquake rocked northern Sumatra. Hours even prior to these eruptions, the USGS seismograms all over the Earth began detecting unusual activity even when no earthquakes were happening. Then on Christmas Day, an enormous 7.6 earthquake rocked Chile spurring a tsunami warning, while at the same time a large typhoon lashed the Philippines, stranding thousands of people. Three days later, on December 28th, a swarm of earthquakes rumbled across Nevada, while over 700 tremors had been recorded in California within that week. As early as December 1st, seismographs globally were consistently showing this same mysterious pattern of anomalies, coinciding with a recent barrage of larger earthquakes in the past weeks. In addition to the latest 5.6 quake in New Zealand on December 22nd, a 7.8 shaker also struck the nation last month. A total of 52 earthquakes measuring 5.5 or higher have struck just in the last 30 days. Speculation soon emerged referring to a restless inner earth core. It is not only our planet that has become restless, but all things that dwell therein are also being affected. The rising proliferation of mass animal die-offs, the mysterious sounds coming from both the sky and below that many humans are now hearing the reckless human tampering with nature, be it with unnatural military weather modifications or unnatural disasters through EMP weapons technology, the crossfire between man's earthly transgressions and the Earth's reverberations has been on overdrive in recent months, intuitively and logically leading us to know that something's got to give. The Earth is experiencing a significant increase in stronger earthquakes this century, and with active volcanic eruptions currently soaring at over 50, which is more than ever before, it stands in sharp contrast to the lowly average of 35 active volcanoes occurring each year throughout the last century. Though the last supervolcano erupted 74,000 years ago, the Yellowstone caldera is perhaps now the most active in the world, having exploded 640,000 years ago. A supervolcano's ash alone can cause a life extinction event. Experts maintain that we're now at the highest possibility, at a 5-10% to chance, of a supervolcano exploding within the next 80 years.
But let's take a look at what is developing at this very moment. Within the last 22 hours, disturbing volcanic activity has developed across the world. The Bogoslav volcano in Alaska's Aleutian Island chain is on red alert and is producing a massive amount of ash as shown in this satellite image. The Kalima volcano in Mexico produced several explosions on December 27th, as this video is showing. And down in Peru, the Sabancaya volcano has exploded, sending the country into a life-threatening state of emergency and a mass evacuation. Meanwhile, our protective magnetosphere is growing weaker while both solar and galactic flares are intensifying. All these developing trends are ominous, but combine them with the strange recent anomalies observed the last few weeks and more projected bursting waves about to collide with the Earth, it seems plausible that more catastrophes may be yet to come. With concrete physical changes being scientifically verified amongst all of the celestial bodies and planets in our solar system, and increasing evidence suggesting the presence of the Planet X Nibiru system moving closer to the Earth, the current anomalies being witnessed may also be due, at least in part, to that twin star system's probable existence. If the remaining days of 2016 produce no other big earthquakes or volcanic eruptions, humanity will have then dodged a bullet, and we can count our blessings while ushering in the new year together. Of course, mainstream media will be quick to point out how internet fake news and conspiracy nuts got it wrong again, joining the endless parade of past doomsday prognosticators. If there's a lesson to be learned here, perhaps we should pay closer attention to internet analysts who are more skilled and adept than are given credit for, while also bold enough to go out on a limb to warn us. Whatever happens, 2017 will be an interesting year, and perhaps this time will mark a new beginning, a transformative spiritual change within each of us that will manifest profoundly through positive external changes and experiences. Regardless of the outcome, this is an important time to be alive and to bear witness to these great events that are taking place. Everyone, please have a safe New Year's and be sure to follow our Facebook page for the latest news and images on the incoming Nibiru system. And we'll see you next year.